Well, you got guys fighting between 130, 135, and 140. Um, there are people fighting between 130, 135, and 140, and they stack up that way. So as of right now, those are guys with skills that pay the bills. Of the two guys, Yovandi Tank is definitely the biggest puncher at the 135 level. Davis, ha, huh, but the most proficient fighter at 135 will be the unexpected move Floyd Mayweather recently dissected the fight between Von Davis and Stevenson. After Devin Haney moved up to a higher weight class, Davis became the official WBA champion. He cemented his title with a convincing knockout of fellow South African Paul Frank. After winning decisively against Edwin de los Santos to earn the vacant WBC title, Martin Stevenson successfully defended it against Artem Herrett Tunin in both bouts, which went the full distance, but drew criticism for their lack of enthusiasm in response to the skeptics. Shaker claimed that his genuine intensity would be evident in a matchup with a top-tier opponent's tank, adding to the simplicity of the situation as AV champion Vesel Lomachenko withdrew from early negotiations. After spending a significant amount of time with the promotional powerhouse top rank, where Bob Arum was the main figure, Stevenson has started a new chapter of free agency. We're open to any of that. Notably, Aram isn't promoting Shaker anymore, so he may not have any role in setting up this potential bout. But fans may soon witness unity clashes between the aforementioned players in the 135 scene, which is as loaded as ever. You foresaw this potential matchup earlier this year. RM Satank is an excellent fighter and a big attraction. So sure, we'd like to match Stevens and Lenko and Lopez against Tank Davis and see how they would do. I like our guys to win the fight. All three would beat Davis. I really believe that well-known analyst and trainer Teddy Atlas provided the Giovanna Tank support. Davis stated that Tank in a Pro Box TV show with Atlas. He says that Davis is the man because he is at his best and capable of doing anything. He says that in addition to being a great puncher, Davis is also a fantastic counterpuncher who can set traps and use his legs when needed. Atlas also says that Davis is thoughtful, patient, and patient when needed, which makes him the whole package at this point. Though he's in his prime and can do everything, Davis believes he's the best right now. Forget about being the hardest puncher and all that, he's also a fantastic counterpuncher who can use his legs when necessary and exhibit the patience and deliberate cerebral thinking that both champions have been talking about lately. He stated that the tank shaker Stevenson's stylistic ability, eyes, legs, hands, and range control make him impossible to beat, according to Davis, who is now the only opponent he can think of. According to Atlas, the tank the only person he can imagine possibly beating Shocker Stevenson is Davis, highlighting the fact that Davis is the man and the reason he is the only person I can think of defeating Stevenson at the moment. Shocker Stevenson is so formidable due to his style, abilities, eyes, legs, hand speed, and ability to control range. Container, I don't think anyone other than Davis could figure out that style and defeat Jay Stevenson in terms of diverse styles and special skill sets. The two division champions are ready to decide if Stevenson's superior defense and deft movement can outlast Davis's relentless power and pursuit over a 12-round fight. In an interview with Fight Hypex, WBO Super Bantamweight World Champion Angelo Leo voted for Stevenson. Davis will surface by utilizing his first and limited interactions with both competitors. Leo stated that, in his opinion, Tank is a fighter with a lot of skill. People tend to believe that he is a power puncher or heavy puncher, but he is also very technical and knows when to pick his shots. Tank is intelligent, cunning, and quick to counterpunch. Fantastic news for followers. Sim may have to confront reality when the talks with I champion, Nasty Lomachenko, broke down. Since Davis has no opponent right now, he can unify his WBA and Shaker's WBC belts should both fighters sign their contracts. Fear is the only thing that can stand in the way, according to Kenny Ellis, Tank's co-trainer, who also cited Stevenson's recent promotion and free agency as additional obstacles that can be avoided if both sides can reach an understanding. Stevenson's elite defense might match up with a tank. The explosiveness of Davis, it has long been debated, who is the greatest, 
and who would prevail in those heavyweight classifications. In an interview with Cigar Talk, Clarissa Shields, the newly crowned heavyweight champion, stated that she thinks Shaker is the greatest and that he is superior to Tank. She feels Stevenson was the finest. Devin Haney Shaker is the best to me. He's better than Tank, Devin, Ryan Shocker, and Tifimo, according to her. Ryan Garcia and Tima Lopez agree, saying Shaker is her top pick in those weight classes, and they see a mirror of herself. In my opinion, Shocker is the best in those weight classes. Shocker is the best, in my opinion, since he is me. So you would think that since he is the one everyone is talking about and wants to see, he's the main one they want to see. The four-weight world champion continued by predicting that Stevenson will defeat Tank and mentioning that he had defeated more formidable opponents to become a lightweight. Clarissa went on to say that she would never write off a fighter, even though she acknowledged that Tank has excellent skills and powerful punches, pointing out his explosiveness. However, she feels that Shocker has faced more difficult obstacles than Tank. Clarissa continued, saying that given the opponent's records and styles, Shaker cannot claim to be the best simply because he defeated Ryan and Rally. She questioned the significance of those opponents, saying they would never face Shaker in the ring. For example, I recall Shocker fighting an African dude named Naka Naka, who was very strong. I was there and thought, man, this Shocker was on his O oh, underscore underscore. Yeah, counting him, knocking him down. But that dude was just thorough, be just strong, though you can look at his. He got big old hands, big old arms, forearms. And Chort went there and did what he did to high. She acknowledged that there could be a knockout, but pointed out that if Tank is only getting hit five or six times a fight, that's different. She expressed her support for Shaker in the fight, highlighting his intelligence, strength, and speed, as well as his ability to raise his game when he has something to prove. However, she expressed regret that those guys would never get in the ring with Shaker. She also said that she felt that Tank was only getting hit five or six times a fight. Landing, yes. And people say, oh no, it only takes one. You're correct. It just takes one. But what happens when you're only hit five or six percent of the way? I'm totally stoked about SH's fight in this basically sports interview. According to Timothy Bradley, Stevenson might be the fighter who stops Von Davis from winning. Street citing Stevenson's remarkable boxing press as a crucial element, Bradley said with confidence. Shaker is that guy, he doesn't need me to tell him what to do in a perspective game. He knows what to do whether he's with top rank or not. Radley believes that Stevenson's advantage may stem from Davis's 14-month hiatus prior to the Frank Martin fight. He said that Stevenson is aware of his ability to fight and that he is cut from a different cloth. He keeps up his intensity and defeats Tank with ease. But it seems that Shaku Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions is in a good position to sign a contract with him. If you like this video, be sure to watch some of our others that are displayed on the screen.